But at the end of the day, you're looking at a Toyota. Now, you can be spending the same amount of money and getting yourself into an Audi, BMW, or Mercedes. A little bit tricky and it's a little bit glitchy something that should be free with this car is because once you go to buy it they sell you on that but then later on you find out or they tell you at the end that you have to pay monthly on it i don't really like that the people in the back are going to have to suffer maybe this is not the car to go for because of how much money you're going to be losing in that process hi guys welcome back to another video welcome back to abraham's garage hope you're good because i'm god and hope you're god and we can all be god together in today's video i'm gonna be going through the toyota highlander i'm gonna be talking about the things that i don't like about this car and the problems i see with this car now this being said this is my personal opinion of the car from the time that i spent with it and the opinion of the owner of the car he's told me about things he doesn't like about it so uh, stick with me. Let's go through them. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video Give me that thumbs up. Let's go and check it out All right guys So the first thing that I don't like about this car and I'm gonna start off with this is because you need to get into a Highlander Is the price of the car now getting into a Highlander is actually very expensive Don't think about it. if it's a Toyota you can get a Highlander. No Highlanders are expensive and they've always been expensive the Explanation for it is that they're good cars that have good options, but at the end of the day you're looking at a Toyota now you can be spending the same amount of money and getting yourself into an Audi BMW or Mercedes so that's something to think about because at that point you're getting into a little bit more luxurious car so at that point it kind of becomes something to think about would you want to get into a Highlander or would you want to get into something nicer luxurious that is German something else I don't like about it is regarding to the app that comes with the car so now once you get this car you get an app on your phone which gives you full control of a lot of things but that's only free for a year now if you want to continue using that after the year you have to pay ten dollars a month so it can actually add up because let's say you're owning this car through the spam of 10 years ten dollars a month just to have those features I think that's something that should be free with this car and uh, it should be part of the features because once you go to buy it they sell you on that but then later on you find out or they tell you at the end that you have to pay monthly on it I don't really like that Something else I don't really like about this car is the smart key access system. Getting in and the, out of the car I noticed was a little bit tricky and it's a little bit glitchy. So I try to open it and it takes two to three tries every single time. I don't know if this is only with the Highlander that I'm testing out right now, if this is just a common issue, but I haven't had this issue on a Corolla RAV4 or CHR that I previously reviewed. Something else I'm not a big fan of are the rear seats. You do get this car to get into a seven seat passenger car, but in the back, they're very small. Comparing it to the competition on the competition, you're able to get a little bit of a bigger space with the back seat. So it'll be a little bit more of a comfortable ride. That's something to think about when you're trying to get into something like this. Reason being is that if you are going on a trip with all adults, the people in the back are going to have to suffer. All right, guys, the next thing that I don't like about it is how the residual and the payments turn out to be. So if you do decide to lease this car for four to five years, you're paying close to 90% of the price of the car in the five years. So if you lease it and return it within five years, you paid for 90% of the car. I don't know how the residual and the payments are calculated because of the depreciation, but it just turns out to be so weird because you're paying so much for it up front if you decide to lease it. So I recommend if you're deciding to lease a car maybe this is not the car to go for because of how much money you're gonna be losing in that process all right guys well these are the things that I don't like about the Toyota Highlander um, let me know down in the comments below if you have a Highlander and what you think about it if these are the same things that you don't have like about it, or if these are the problems that you're having with it also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed the video give me that thumbs up hope to see you soon in my next video have a good one